4 Mind-Blowing Modification Custom Truck Showcase when it comes to custom trucks, creativity and innovation knows no bounds. With the rise of the truck culture, enthusiasts have been pushing the limits of what is possible, transforming their vehicles into masterpieces that showcase their unique personalities. From bold paint jobs to intricate interior designs, these modified trucks are a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the unrelenting passion for customization. In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating stories behind these incredible vehicles, exploring the creative vision and meticulous attention to detail that has gone into their design. Design. So, stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. Number 1. 1967 Dodge Diora The 1967 Dodge Diora stands out as one of the most remarkable custom pickup trucks ever created. Its origins trace back to a Dodge 100 forward control pickup, a rather ordinary vehicle transformed into an extraordinary masterpiece. By the combined genius of designer Harry Bradley and the Alexander brothers, Mike and Larry, this collaboration began in 1964 when the Alexander Brothers, renowned custom car builders based in Detroit, set out to create a custom pickup truck. Using the new Cabover models from Detroit's automakers, they enlisted Harry Bradley, a talented designer from California, to conceptualize a groundbreaking design for Chrysler's Dodge 100. Bradley's vision for the Dora was truly revolutionary. He aimed to eliminate all conventional cut lines in the cab, striving for a seamless, integrated appearance. One of the most innovative features was the absence of traditional doors. Instead, Bradley designed a front opening hatch, made from the lift-up rear window of a 1960 Ford station wagon. This hatch provided access to the interior, setting the Dura apart from any other vehicle on the road. Chrysler was impressed with the design and provided the Alexander brothers with a stripped down 100 to bring this vision to life. The transformation process was extensive and meticulous, taking over two years and costing a significant $10,000. The result was nothing short of spectacular. The Dora made its public debut and immediately captured attention, winning the prestigious Riddler Award in 1967, a testament to its outstanding design and craftsmanship. Its unique look, characterized by the smooth flowing lines and innovative front entry, made it an instant icon in the custom car community. The Dora's journey didn't end there. Over the years, it underwent several transformations that kept it in the spotlight. In 1968, it was repainted a striking lime green metallic, complete with new scoops and interior upgrades that enhanced its futuristic appeal. A decade later, in 1979, it received another makeover, featuring a root beer brown metallic paint job and a series of modifications, including the replacement of the bucket seats with a bench seat, a new tonneau cover, new wheels, and the removal of the grill bar and armrests. In 1998, the Dora was brought out of storage for a full restoration, with Harry Bradley himself assisting in returning the vehicle to its original glory. This restoration ensured that the Dora would continue to be celebrated for its unique design and historical significance. The truck has been immortalized in various forms, including Hot Wheels cars and AMT scale models, further cementing its status as an iconic and sought-after custom vehicle. Number 2. 1971 AMC Jeep Cowboy the 1971 AMC Jeep Cowboy represents a fascinating chapter in automotive history, showcasing American Motors Corporation's innovative spirit and determination to compete in the burgeoning market of compact pickups. During the late 1960s and early 1970s, Japanese automakers were making significant progress into the American market with their compact and economical pickups. In response, AMC sought to develop a vehicle that could rival these imports and offer something unique to American consumers. AMC, which had a reputation for producing reliable, compact cars, decided to leverage its recent acquisition of the Jeep brand and its own Hornet platform to create the Cowboy. The idea was to blend the ruggedness of Jeep with the practicality and performance of the Hornet. This led to the development of three distinct prototypes, each with its own unique features and design elements. The first prototype was painted red and prominently featured Jeep badges, emphasizing its rugged lineage. The second prototype, finished in green and white, was based on the Hornet SC360 and equipped with a powerful 360 cubic inch V8 engine, promising robust performance and a strong presence on the road. The third prototype was yellow and sported a six cylinder engine, offering a more economical option. This prototype also borrowed the front end design from the AMC Gremlin, giving it a distinctive look. One of the most notable design features of the AMC Jeep Cowboy was its separate cab and cargo box, which was not commonly seen in compact pickups at the time. This design choice provided a traditional pickup look and functionality, complete with a 
drop-down tailgate that was practical for loading and unloading cargo. Despite its traditional construction, the Cowboy managed to stand out with its unique combination of elements from both the Jeep and Hornet. However, the journey of the Cowboy from concept to production was fraught with challenges. One of the major issues was branding. AMC faced a dilemma about using the Jeep name on a two-wheel drive vehicle, as the Jeep was synonymous with four-wheel drive off-road capability. To address this, AMC branded the prototypes simply as AMC Cowboys, distancing them from the Jeep name. Another significant hurdle was cost. Developing a new vehicle from concept to production is an expensive endeavor, and AMC was already investing heavily in other projects at the time. The financial constraints made it difficult for AMC to justify the additional expenditure required to bring the Cowboy to market. Ultimately, despite the Cowboy's innovative approach and aesthetic appeal, AMC decided to shelve the project. The prototypes never made it to production, and the Cowboy remained an intriguing but unproduced concept. Number three, 1993 Chevrolet Highlander pickup. The 1993 Chevrolet Highlander pickup stands out as a vibrant and bold concept vehicle that captivated audiences at the Chicago Auto Show, created as a tantalizing preview of the 1994 S10. The Highlander was a striking departure from conventional pickup designs of the time. It featured a distinctive color scheme of bright neon green and purple, reflecting the vibrant and adventurous spirit of the early 90s. This eye-catching appearance was further enhanced by gray plastic and purple trim, making the Highlander an unmistakable presence. Chevrolet aimed to push the boundaries of design and functionality with the Highlander, and it was loaded with features that showcased its off-road capabilities. One of the standout features was the adjustable roll bar, which added both functionality and a rugged aesthetic. This roll bar was not just for looks. It was designed to provide practical utility for off-road adventures. Additionally, the Highlander boasted a fabric top that could be rolled down when the roll bar was up, offering the versatility of an open-air experience. Another innovative feature of the Highlander was its fold-flat rear window. This design allowed for easy access to the truck bed from the cab, enhancing the vehicle's practicality and utility. The truck also included a handy tool compartment, making it an ideal choice for those who needed a vehicle that could handle both work and play. Under the hood, the Highlander was equipped with a robust 4.3 liters V6 engine paired with an automatic transmission, delivering power to all four wheels. This setup ensured that the Highlander was not just a showpiece, but a capable off-road vehicle ready to tackle various terrains. Despite its impressive capabilities, the Highlander was never intended for production. It lacked a vehicle identification number or title, which made it unregisterable for everyday use. This limitation underscored its role as a concept vehicle designed primarily to test new ideas and gauge public reaction. The Highlander was Chevrolet's opportunity to experiment with radical new concepts and see how consumers would respond. The feedback from this showcase influenced future models, even if the concept itself never made it to the streets. And although it never reached production, the Highlander's bold design and innovative features continue to be remembered as a testament to the creative spirit of concept vehicle design. Its presence at the Chicago Auto Show left a lasting impression on those who saw it, ensuring its place in the annals of automotive history as a true icon of its time. Number four, 1999 Nissan SUT or Sport Utility Truck Concept the 1999 Nissan SUT or Sport Utility Truck concept made a significant impact when it was unveiled at the North American International Auto Show. This innovative vehicle represented Nissan's forward-thinking approach to combining the best elements of an SUV and a pickup truck into one versatile package. Designed by Doug Wilson, the SUT concept was a response to the evolving needs of consumers who wanted the practicality of a truck without sacrificing the comfort and style of an SUV. One of the most distinctive features of the Nissan SUT was its flip-up liftgate position behind behind the rear passenger seat. This clever design allowed for easy access to the truck bed while maintaining a clear separation between the passenger and cargo areas. The flip-up gate was a novel solution to the common problem faced by SUV owners who struggled with the balance between transporting passengers and hauling cargo. By providing a designated clean zone for passengers and a separate zone for cargo, the SUT offered a unique blend of utility and comfort. Under the hood, the SUT concept was powered by a robust 3.3 liters V6 engine producing 170 horsepower. This engine combined with four-wheel drive and a four-speed automatic transmission ensured that the SUT was not only stylish, but also capable of handling various terrains with ease. The vehicle's performance was further enhanced by a four-wheel anti-lock braking system, providing improved safety and control. The exterior design of the SUT was both rugged and refined, featuring custom 18-inch wheels that added to its aggressive stance. Additional design elements, such as a roof rack and step rails, contributed to its practicality and off-road readiness. These features underscored Nissan's commitment to creating a vehicle that could meet the diverse needs of modern drivers. 
The interior of the SUT concept was designed with comfort and convenience in mind, aimed to provide the same level of luxury and comfort found in high-end SUVs, while offering the practicality of a pickup truck. The design of the cabin focused on creating a spacious and comfortable environment for passengers, making it an ideal vehicle for both daily commutes and adventurous road trips. The inspiration for the SUT concept came from Doug Wilson's personal experience. After struggling to fit a large plant into his own SUV, Wilson realized the need for a vehicle that could offer both the cargo capacity of a truck and the passenger comfort of an SUV. This insight led to the creation of the SUT, a vehicle designed to bridge the gap between two popular automotive segments. Now, which of these trucks impressed you the most? Comment below with your thoughts, and remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel for more intriguing classic truck reviews. Until next time, thanks for watching.